A first born girl is a sad. A second born, a second girl is a disaster. I don't think there was uh, a lot of joy uh, at my birth because I was a second daughter. The birth of a girl is always seen as a burden. If your you know, parents are not well off, it's a calamity for them financially that it's another girl because it's about getting her married, uh, that she's not going to earn any money. You go through villages where you find all the kids who are running around the village are all boys. How is it that no girl was born in that village? It's not possible. I wanted to give back, somehow do something positive for women. Uh, it's not easy to cook. It's taken a long time to cook. <laughs> this is something that I know women who've, who've not gone to school and college, who can't understand the computer, they can still cook. I'm a second daughter, so that's why they don't want to send me to school. And uh, you know, we are very poor. I didn't go to school. I like to go, but I stopped going to school because uh, they like to send the boy to school because they like, they're waiting for boy. Uh, that's the happen for second daughter. This was my one way of involving other women who had the skills I needed but didn't recognize it themselves. They're the ones with the big hearts because people have come and gone. Those who stayed on all these five years that have worked with me have been the second daughters. I think that they have a, they have a different need, a need to give back. We will celebrate the birth of a girl in the way that boys' births are celebrated, with firecrackers, sweets for the entire village. So no one can tell her later on that everyone cried when you were born. So I don't want to, another second daughter will struggle like us, you know? The power that comes from being employed, this is their destiny. <laughs> All of us working so hard, we're giving back to, back to the villages where they come from for second daughters so that no one has to go through what they did.